Welcome to the second module of Air Potato Patrol Training. My name is Dr. William Lester and I am with the University of Florida IFAS Extension in Hernando County, Florida. Today we're going to go through a brief overview of how to properly identify the air potato plant and the other plants growing in your yard that you might confuse with it. We will look at the air potato vine's leaves, stems, bulbils, and tubers. There are some species of wild yams in Florida that you might mistake for air potato, and we'll see some examples of other plant species that at first glance may seem very similar. Sizes of the leaves on air potato vines can be quite variable. They have a pointed apex or tip of the leaf. They're generally heart-shaped. They're held by a long petiole, and the leaf veins radiate from the petiole attachment. So if you turn the leaf over, you'll see that the Veins all come from one point where the petiole attaches to the leaf. Air potato stems are herbaceous and can become quite robust, but they are never woody. They are smooth and rounded. They twine on nearby objects from the right to left, and dead stems remaining into the subsequent growing seasons can serve as support structures for the newly forming vines. As we mentioned in Module 1, air potatoes form bulbils. These are aerial storage organs. Their sizes can be quite variable. They can be round to irregularly rounded, as you see pictured here. They can form at any leaf node, and there are two different genotypes that are known to be in Florida. One of them forms dark brown with rough surface bulbils. The other one forms bulbils that are light tan with a smooth surface. Now these bulbils aren't always large. They can be as small as a pinhead to larger than a grapefruit. Air potato vines also form tubers. These are underground storage organs. They're similar in appearance to bulbils, but covered in roots or their remnants. New tubers are produced by the plant annually, and they can easily detach from the vine. So if you're just pulling the vines up by hand, it can detach very easily from the tuber and the tuber can grow back. In Florida, we also have winged yams, which look similar to air potato vines but have distinctive wings on the stems. They also have vines as air potatoes do, but they twine from left to right. The leaves look similar and are heart-shaped and they are also form bulbils, but the bulbils look very different. Air potato bulbils are round and either tan or dark brown. The bulbils on the winged yam are elongated and bumpy. In Florida, we have a number of other vines that could be mistaken for air potato vine. One of these is called greenbrier, also called smilax. The stems can become woody and many species have thorns on them. The vines have separate tendrils for attaching to the support system and other branches and plants. The foliage remains year-round on these vines, and they may produce clusters of very small green fruits. Another vine that may be mistaken for air potato vine is kudzu. Kudzu has individual leaves composed of three leaflets, which may have up to three lobes. This vine also has tendrils for attaching to structures or branches. The stems on this plant can become woody and the entire plant may be covered with bronze hairs. And this plant spreads by stolons and also by seed. Morning glory vines are very common in Florida. The leaves are highly variable, often lobed. This plant also has tendrils for attachment and they twine from the left to right. The stems and leaves are often covered with hairs, and this plant produces large, colorful uh, flowers during the summer. Muscadine grapevines have the same growth habit as air potato vines, but the stems become very woody. They have tendrils for attachment, and these vines produce loose clusters of thick-skinned grapes. The leaves on Virginia creeper vines are broken up into five separate leaflets. This vine also has tendrils with adhesive discs for attachment. The stems on this vine become quite woody also, and this vine can sometimes form uh, small bluish fruits that are in little clusters. 
So many of these commonly confused species have features that are not found in air potato. This in can include tendrils for attachment. They develop woody stems. They flower and set small fruits or seeds. These vines twine from left to right. Remember, air potato twines from right to left. Some of these vines have compound leaves and either hairs or thorns, which makes them very different and very distinctive from air potato vine. We'd like to thank the United States Department of Agriculture, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, with their assistance with funding the rearing and distribution of the air potato beetle.